People do still periscope, huh? <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I haven't periscoped in a while. I lost my voice for a little bit, and I was sick, and then I went out of town. Now I'm back, and I have my voice back. People do periscope. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Where are the videos, man? Yeah, it's funny. Whenever I don't upload for a couple days, a week, people think I died. They're coming back tomorrow if I get everything done. New video tomorrow. Where'd I see the Bugatti? The Bugatti picture is in Los Angeles. If you guys have ever been to the, what is it called? Peterson Auto Museum. That is right in the lobby of the museum. Not the prettiest paint job in the museum, I must say. Am I moving to LA? No. I'm glad you're alive. Thanks. Did you move out yet? No, I haven't. <clears throat> this is coming from a iPhone 6S Plus. And this is the phone I just showed you. Are you a fan of Rolls Royce? I'm actually not. I was, it was funny, I was in LA and I saw three Tesla Model X's on the road. It's pretty crazy. You don't see those on the road that much. We'll just go right here. So people do still periscope, apparently. How's Ultimate going? Pretty good. Would I ever move to LA? I maybe. The music here. That's the music. Am I going to review the Huawei? I've never heard of the Huawei Pal, so I guess not. Frozen for some people? Yeah. I don't know, Periscope tends to freeze sometimes for some people, so it looks like it works for me. Maybe not for everyone. Spotify playlist? My Spotify playlists are all public. If you can somehow find my Spotify profile. Freezing for some people, not freezing from some other people. Team Crispy Live. I'll talk about that. Okay, Team Crispy Live is happening February 6th in Los Angeles. So I'll be back in LA for about a week there. February 6th on that night is going to be an event, a live event with me, John from TLD, Austin Evans, Your Average Consumer, Unbox Therapy, all of us will be on this, well, just walking around, I guess, hanging with you guys at this event. And then after the event, uh, just hanging out. And so it's gonna be like an onstage part and an offstage part. Here, I'll teamcrispylive.com. Let me show you. So that's teamcrispylive.com. Super simple right now. February 6th, right? Los Angeles, California. Obviously, anyone can use the hashtag Team Crispy, but you already know that that's a pretty solid group of people using it. So if you want to meet us, if you want to hang out, if you want to participate, then that's what this is. Team Crispy Live. CrispyLive.com. Should be pretty fun. Yeah, nice vintage style. <clears throat> what will we be, We'll probably discuss anything you guys ask. Things about tech, things about video about YouTube, about the future, the past. I hope we don't watch old videos. We might. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what we end up doing. Is it going to be like a podcast? No, it's going to be just like open forum. Like if you've seen, not a round table, if you've seen like open panel discussions, it'll be that, but with everyone involved. Is it recorded? I don't, I don't think so. I think there's going to be people running around with Periscope like like recording it for themselves, but it won't be officially recorded, so it'll be its own thing. It'll just be that one live event. You should record? I mean, we could probably get, we'll probably make videos there, that's the thing. If you wanna see us make videos, 
we'll probably be hanging around, collaborating with people, stuff like that, doing things live. Uh, also, there's a limited number of tickets, so if you go to TeamCrispyLive.com and you want to go, then you should get your ticket sooner than later because they will actually sell out eventually. Actually, maybe soon. How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah, I, I, someone's going to record it, but it won't be like the official recording. Maybe we will record it. I don't know. Parking fee? Um, I want to say there's on-site parking, but I don't know if it's anything more than just a normal parking garage fee. Do it on Jupiter? That might be kind of hard, <laughs> especially periscoping from Jupiter. Yeah, if you don't live, I mean, it's gonna be in LA, near the Staples Center. Uh, if you don't live in LA, then you'd probably, you'd have to plan ahead and like decide to travel for that. And it'll probably be worth it, but if, if, if you don't wanna do it, then maybe there will be another one sometime in another city. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, if the audience is spread around the world, then there's no one place we can pick where everyone can go. So we're doing it in LA for this one, but again, who knows. When will I do another giveaway? Uh, I don't know, maybe soon? <laughs> Come to England? Yeah, there's, a, there's gonna be a lot of suggestions, maybe a New York City equivalent or something, I don't know. What well, movies have I seen recently? I watched The Martian a couple days ago on the plane. It was pretty good. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I watched it because I remember Neil deGrasse Tyson saying it was actually fairly scientifically accurate, and it was, so the science was not distracting. It was actually a good movie. The music is 20SYL. <clears throat> I see the hearts, thank thanks. For the hearts. You know what I saw also? I hit 100,000 followers on Periscope. That's why I like literally was asking like, do people still, are people still actively following Periscope? Like, do you guys watch anything other than this on Periscope? Do you guys follow other Periscopers? Do you, you leave hearts on Periscope? Do you care about Periscope at all? What do you think about Periscope? Sam Sheffer, yeah. Donald Trump, I don't think Donald Trump Periscopes. No, not really, just one. I've, I mean, if there's 100,000 people here, that means that's a, that's a lot. I mean, Periscope's not that old, so 100,000 people in a couple months means it's moving. People are on it. I really liked my Periscope from Google I.O. That was a lot of fun. The notification pops up, you click it, you watch it. Okay, fair. Only like five people. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much only following YouTubers and like one or two other personalities. New to Periscope, okay. People might be new to this Periscope from my tweet who I've never followed. Like, if you haven't followed me on Periscope, you can do that. iPhone 7? Yeah, that'll be fun. No headphone jack. <laughs> you follow two people on Periscope. You watch news broadcasts and some YouTubers, but... Yeah, behind the scenes, yeah. I think Periscope is more like... Impromptu. Like, random events. Like, I'll, I'll probably Periscope from Team Crispy Live, honestly. I probably will. Even if, like, Austin tells me not to, I probably will. Syncs with Twitter, yeah. First time in three to four months, all right. See, there you go. Some people don't use Periscope and then only come to Periscope when they have a notification from someone they follow, which is pretty much how I use Periscope. What did you think of the $50,000 headphones? Honestly, honestly speaking, <clears throat> they sounded great but I don't know if I could tell the difference between them and my HD800s. I have a pair of Sennheiser HD800s that sound like magic. And I've never heard like Hotel California, like I don't listen to that song very often. So this, this was the first time I listened to that song in a long time. So didn't really know if I could tell the difference. Maybe if I listened to my own music in super high quality, I'd be like, oh, I hear new things that I didn't hear before. But yeah, I, I have Sennheiser HD800s. The Sennheiser Orpheus is the is the $50,000 pair of headphones that I made a video on. You should vlog, I'm pretty sure we would like it. You might. Any Bluetooth headphones? These are pretty much the only Bluetooth headphones I use. 
the Jaybird X2s. The X3s come out soon. Do you listen to music through streaming or Flack, for example? I use a lot of Spotify. I use the highest quality Spotify can give me most of the time. I don't think I'm going to be at Mobile World Congress. I'll be remotely following it. Well, anyway, this was interesting. This was a good heads up. I'm glad to see that people still watch Scope. Expect a new video tomorrow, yeah. So for those of you who are on Periscope, I haven't said this on Twitter or Facebook or anything, so just for you, Periscope, new video tomorrow. Um, hope you enjoy it. It's just, it's just me learning Final Cut, basically, the way I can get these videos out more quickly. Um, found some neat plugins. Rendering is super fast. I'm happy. So I'm gonna get back to work. More writing, more hyping Team Crispy Live. But uh, thanks for watching this Periscope. And talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.